Hey guys, it's Andy here, and today I'm going to show you how to make a cheap air conditioner with uh, just two p parts to it. So the first is this uh, $11 foam, I guess cooler, <laughs> that's what it is. Uh, it's about $11, $12, Canadian Tire is where I got that. And uh, this fan, which is a USB plug-in fan, and it's all metal, it's uh, about $9 at Walmart and you know, this is the uh, hookup for it so you can easily solar run it by uh, solar power or whatever uh, whatever kind of power source you want since it's just 5 volts and 500 milliamps which is nice and uh, tools I just um, use a box cutter and uh, just a screwdriver because I take this off to do measurements I'll show you what I'm doing here. So basically I just um, put this on here just to figure it out and then I just do the inside line so that it will snugly fit. This will push down in. So I'm just uh, slowly cutting inward on an angle. Now uh, this whole design is based off of the YouTuber Desert Sun 2 uh, The video is called Homemade AC Air Cooler DIY Can Be Solar Powered. Uh, home slash auto air cooler 40 Fahrenheit uh, 12 volt DC fan it's a long name for a video but I saw another video that um, it's uses the same kind of idea but it's built differently and it was done a few years before that video and it's by Mixcat.com and the video name is Homemade Air Conditioner DIY Project World's Cheapest AC. So, I mean, in the U.S. you can uh, build these a lot cheaper, but in Canada, these foam things are a lot more expensive. For, I guess, environmental reasons, they jack the price up, I guess. I don't know. But anyways, I'm going to finish cutting this out. Alright, so here it is uh, cut out. You can see it makes quite a bit of mess, so... You'll want a vacuum or something to clean this up afterward. And I'm going to use a lighter to uh, melt the sides of this to smooth it off a bit since that seems to be the easiest and fastest way. You just have to be very careful since this stuff doesn't like flame or heat or fire whatsoever. So you just have to be very careful with that. So the um, basic idea is see it fits in there. And you just kind of shove it down in. I've got to trim this up a little bit more. I cut on too steep of an angle. It's always best to uh, cut too big than too small. That way you can easily shave off bits just like this. And when you're done, uh, it'll fit quite snugly. Um, there. Let's see, it's pretty tight in there, but... And it should be very tight in there because, uh, like I said, this is a two-piece project there's just a fan and the cooler and uh, that's it other than the blocks of ice of course so you just shove it in really tight and uh, there see very very low profile very simple and uh, just pressure holds it all in and you don't want to be taking the fan out or anything or messing around with it and see it's, it's a pretty good fan it's all metal blades are metal so I'm pretty happy. It was the cheapest fan I could find, and it just had all the qualities I needed. So, you can see it'll just sit like that, and these will probably uh, sit down like that. It doesn't really matter. The whole point of this is to be dirt cheap. So, we have our one hole here, and then our other hole will be right here. So, basically, what will happen is air will be pushed down into here there will be a block of ice or you can have some water bottles full of ice in the bottom and it'll push the air down and then it'll come back up through this small hole here and uh, that's your air conditioner so um, just cleaning up the styrofoam with a lighter you have to be very careful when you're doing it like you pretty much just have to go very lightly and as soon as you see any kind of flame or anything just blow it out it's pretty simple. This stuff doesn't go like gasoline or anything, but it's definitely uh, not something you should 
do lightly. Or take lightly, I should say. But, yeah, it's um, pretty simple. See, I uh, did too much here. But it makes it pretty rigid and, uh, I guess, crusty afterwards, so. It works pretty good. And then you just do the other side. Just be very careful when you're working on it. It only takes a few seconds. So. Yeah. I think that's good enough. Ouch. Alright. And there you go. Nice and cleaned up. Except for right there. You did too much. But on that, it's looking pretty good. So you can do this nice and neatly, but I really don't care, I just need to make a hole, so I just took a pen, and I found just a piece of foam to use as a marker, so just uh, draw it out and then uh, I just uh, start cutting in. You have to be very gentle with this, I mean, uh, foam likes to um, act up on you, and it'll easily uh, make a huge mess, so... You just have to score it first and go a little bit deeper every time you make a round. So you just go very lightly. I can't do this with one hand, but that's basically what you do. You just take your time and uh, be patient with it. Alright, so here it is done, and as you can see, I uh, nicked it a bit, so kind of show you the importance of being very careful and patient with this stuff. Now, this is a pretty ugly hole. It's uh, very poorly done, but like I said, I I don't need something fancy or nice looking. Just uh, just be careful if you're going to melt it with a lighter. Um, another option is to use a soldering iron, because they get pretty hot, but it can't burn it. Um, just be a little bit careful, because it could. I know I've used it once before to do this, but um, I can't remember how it went, so... You know, just use common sense and be careful. So, not exactly the smartest thing in the world to be doing in the first place, but, you know, whatever. It's, it's what I like doing. <laughs> Alright, so this is it all put together. It's you know, pretty simple. Pretty low profile. And, uh, here's my little power deck. I'll just plug it in. So, just plug it in now. And there you go. So, you can feel the air blowing through here. And, uh, in here. I'm gonna cut this out to be the right size so I can have a little cork to throw in there. That's kind of funny. You hear that, it, uh, the air pressure slows it down. We'll just throw our test subjects in here. Um, there. And, let's see. So, yeah. So, yeah, so, yeah. colder, you know, if you fill the thing right to the brim with, uh, frozen water bottles, I'm sure it would work very good, but, you know, it's pumping out cold air, and, you know, that's, that's pretty much the goal of this thing, so, you could, uh, you could even, instead of using this foam one, just, uh, find a plastic one at a yard sale, or a thrift store, or, you know, a pawn shop or anything, um, even broken ones would work great and uh, do the same thing. It's uh, very simple. Uh, pretty much, if you can find a cheap fan and if you can find some kind of cooler, then uh, you're set to go. And then you just need some ice to throw in there and boom, you're off. So, you know. Anyways, uh, like, 
favorite, subscribe, and have a good day.